wargamer, terrain maker, or a scaled scenery modeler, we are always on the search for a cheaper material to do the job. If you're a fan of the channel, you know I like to use a lot of natural materials in my builds. Twigs, acorns, rocks and dirt, you've seen me use these before, but dead leaves are the ace up my sleeve. They can be found almost anywhere and gathered for free with little effort. You can prepare them many ways to get your desired texture, but I recommend a blender. About 20 seconds in the blender breaks the leaves down into smaller pieces. Depending on your needs, you may want to blend it more or less. We will separate the different size particles by using these basket strainers. I recommend two different size grates to give a coarse and a fine powder result. First, I pour the contents from my blender into the largest space strainer to remove debris that will be discarded. What is left in the basin, I pour into the smallest strainer and sift to get my fine flocking. What is left in that strainer should be used for a coarse flocking. Here, you can see the difference between the two. This next step is very important as we are working with organic materials acceptable to both decomposition and mold. Vinegar is the safest means by killing any mold. I recommend this over bleach and tea tree oil for a number of reasons. Be sure to apply liberal amounts of vinegar and ensure it's completely absorbed by mixing it thoroughly. Once satisfied, I like to let it dry in a well-lit window for at least a day. After it's completely dry, we place it back into our blender to break any clumps that may have formed. From this point, your flocking is ready to use. But nature is filled with color, and our flocking should reflect that as well. To achieve this, we add both vinegar and our chosen color of acrylic paint and mix thoroughly by pressing the mixture into itself. I like to use popsicle sticks, but doing it by hand while wearing gloves works very well. Again, once it's thoroughly mixed and we are satisfied with the color, we place it in a warm, sunlit window to dry. I recommend a day or two. We return our dried leaves to the blender and gently pulse to the desired texture. As for myself, I like to keep my shelves stocked with the four colors of brown, red, yellow, and green. I hope this video has helped you make some better flocking for your table games. If you like this video, be sure to check out my others. See you next time.